Is my camera too far? No, you're good. Hey, yo, it's Carso. And today, if you're seeing this online, we're doing more of a virtual meeting here. Uh, we're on Zoom for this meeting. I'm here with... Julian. Josh. Why'd you hesitate? <laughs> but today, we're going to be going over all the free agent signings that happened within the past couple weeks. We're going to go from who still hasn't been signed to who are the worst signings that have been made. Um, Jesh, I'm going to ask you this first one. Steven Adams, you know where he went? Um, no. Jesh. Why do I feel like it was the Cavs? Julian, do you know where Aaron Baines went? No. Okay, that's what we're going to be going over. I got uh, a list of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 17, 18. 1, 2, 3, 4. About 36 players. We're going to go over all of them. We're going to talk about who was the best signing, who was the worst signing out of all of these. Starting off, Steven Adams. He went to New Orleans on a two-year deal. What do you guys think? That's going to be a nice team. Him and Zion. Well, my problem is with that, where's the spacing? Yeah. True. There's going to but, be Zion and Steven Adams next to each other? Are you serious? Bro, he hits greens in 2K20. Yeah, that's about it. Mm -hmm. Just like, okay, give it a grade. A through F. That would be a... I'd say a C. A C also. Well, I thought you said it was a good signing. It was until I realized the spacing. <laughs> I, I, I'd give it a C too. Wait, who's their point guard? Um. Well, now they have George. No, they have Eric Bledsoe, Lonzo Ball, and Kyra Lewis. Lonzo. I think that's a dumb signing. But I would have had a stretch next to the Zion. Put a stretch next to Zion. Are you serious? Come on. Uh, next up, we got Bam. You guys know where he went? Yes. He got traded. No, he. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't know he got traded. Bam resigned, right? Yep. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm not traded. Five year, one sixty three. Is he worth it? Yeah. I think so too. Yeah, I'd, I'd say yeah. I'd say so. Yeah. All NBA, uh, he was an All Star this year. Uh, could have been there for most improved. This signing is they had to basically. Yeah. So, yeah, he's he's a really important part to their team. They mm -hmm. go after Giannis, right? But what if they don't get him and then they didn't offer Bam the the contract and then they lose out on both of them? Then you're just screwed. Yeah. Yeah. I think what they do is smart. What's your grade? A. A. A minus. I was going to say an A minus too. Just because, I mean, he still has a lot more to do and he, I'm sure he will. Yeah. I mean, that's a big contract for only doing good like one year though, if you think about it. Yeah. Um. Next up, we got Costas. On to the compo. Where'd he go? To LA. <laughs> so people were talking about why would the Lakers sign him, right? But yeah. like, they're hoping that maybe Giannis wants to go play with his brother. Why? Could you imagine? Well, that would, then, no, no, I can't imagine that at all. That makes no yeah, sense. Um, they don't even need Giannis. That's the thing. Well, no, like, then your spacing is even worse. Yeah. You want a Snickers? Wouldn't you want another Snickers? No. Why not? Because that's too much caramel. But caramel <laughs> hits you to the top. Like, you're but going I love to... Snickers. Wait, wait, whoa, whoa, what? Whoa. Um, give that a grade. That was just like a throw. If you, okay, if Giannis. Oh, wait, are you Costas? Yeah. Um, if the only reason was because of Giannis, that's not a good trade. 
and Giannis going there, I, I wouldn't want to see that. I'd give it That'd a be D. a weird team. That'd be a weird team. I'm giving that a D. D minus. Uh, <laughs> Melo goes back to Portland. Going back? Where was he? Portland. Okay. Um, oh, he's staying. Okay. I mean, he had a That's decent thought. season. Yeah. Um, I'd give that um, trade. I'd give that trade a I, C. I'd give it a C, too. Because it's like, he's not like super important to be honest yeah and he's and he's old he's just he's just a solid player right now so i guess it's just like whatever it doesn't really make a difference i probably get he's like a b minus he's like a joe you johnson say, you say b minus yeah because he's still gonna be able to give you scoring he's a veteran in the yeah. locker room and when he wants to get a shot he can he's their third option mm-hmm. uh dj augustine do you know who that is in general yeah. He yeah. hit the shot against the Raptors a few years ago to win game one. I don't, I don't know where he was, though. He was in Orlando. And now Is he's he still? Milwaukee Bucks. He's going to the Bucks. So, okay. lost out on all <laughs> point guards, right? On two of their point guards, actually. And now they they get DJ Augustine, who's a solid backup point guard. If you need him to start, you're not probably a great team. But I'm thinking, what, what, if you're the Bucks and you sign Giannis, right? Where are you? What's your starting lineup looking like? The Bucks just need a good point guard, like a really good one. So would you? Yeah. Drew Holiday there. Drew Holiday, I think. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. He could be really good with them. Uh, how good is he at shooting? He's a solid shooter. He he shoots over the average. That's good. Yeah, him and Chris Middleton, so that they should space the floor out a little bit more. So if we're looking at it right, my question is: Do you run Drew Holiday at the one or the two? So if you run him at the one, I think you run Chris Middleton Who's, at three. Yeah. I think so Chris primary position is a shooting guard. Hmm. That's what I think too. So I'd put mm-hmm. Drew at the one, Chris at the two, uh, fill in anyone at the three. You put Giannis at the four and Brooke at the five, you're you're going to get sixty wins. Will that get you a final uh will that get you get you to the finals though? That's the problem. They don't they yeah. all forward. Yeah. Maybe even a, a decent power forward because I think in the playoffs you need a run with Giannis at the five. Mhm. Mhm. Just to help with. Do the they team. have? Do they have a a backup four right now? Like a, like a good one. I can look it up. Um, you guys keep talking. But who's running center again? Brook Lopez. So maybe you throw in Don a... Vincenzo at the shooting guard. Who? Who? Don Vincenzo. Oh. Mhm. Oh, is Marvin Williams still on that team? Uh, oh, they got Bobby Portis and Marvin Williams. So if you put Mar- Marvin at the power forward next to Giannis, you put Chris at the two, uh, at the three with uh, who's at the two? Who's at the two? Um, with Dante Devin and, and Drew Hart yeah. the one. That, that looks nice. Mm-hmm. Maybe there's still a piece away, but at, right there, that doesn't look bad. I, yeah, I'd say that's still not good enough, to be honest. To beat the yeah, Nets. probably not. To beat what? Who did you, you say? What? The Nets. Oh, the Nets. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Was James Harden traded yet? No. Or not traded. Whatever. So I'll give DJ Augustine a grade. B minus. I mean, I'm gonna say a C. I would say a B minus as well. C plus. You don't have to. You don't need to change. C plus. C plus plus. You know all about that, huh, Josh? Oh uh, yeah. Physics. 
Is that in physics? No, he doesn't know anything about that. Um, JJ hey, minus. Son- What'd you say? JJ Barea, back to the Mavs. Oh. Oh yeah. Um, um... Just a solid backup. Mavs. Yeah, he's not. Yeah, I mean, he's not. These these uh free agent trades aren't like they're not too big right now. No yeah. one big has no one like what would be big is if James Harden already left and went to the Nets. Yeah. But but right now it's mm-hmm. just a bunch of role players. Yeah. I just give it a C. They're, yeah, like they're yeah. all they're all. I, I mean, he's like I feel like he, he's a decent backup. I think this next ones are really exciting. Aaron Baines to the Raptors. Aaron Baines is a really solid starting center. I want to see the Raptors win without Kawhi. That'd be cool. Yeah. I mean, I don't think it's going to happen, but that'd be cool. I get that Aaron Baines trade of uh, a signing an A minus. That's a B plus. I get B plus. To fill in what Marcus All did, he's going to be mm-hmm. better than that. Yeah, yeah. For sure. Next one, he left my Sacramento Kings. Kent Bazemore went back to Golden State. He he mm. lost the Kings. Honestly, I don't. He was solid. I don't really know. He, he was just like another role player. He yeah. Had a lot of energy. Yeah. So I prob- mean, he's like probably- he's like he's like the the veteran kind of in the locker room. Oh yeah. Whoa. How how old is he? How, yeah, I forgot. He came in with Steph, I think. Oh. So he's, he's not like, a vet. Uh, he's not a vet vet, but he, but he he's is like surrounded. thirty. He is yeah, he is surrounded by a bunch of young players though. So I yeah. guess yeah. Uh, I'll, I'd give that a B. B. B minus. Okay, Josh. Um <laughs> Next up, this signing was actually huge. Davis Bertans goes back to the Wizards again. This Where does John Wall want to go? He doesn't know what he wants to do. He just wants out of Washington. Right. Apparently, that report was a lie. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. That's like, oh, make up your mind. I yeah. kind of want him to leave. I kind of want him to leave, though. But that team is nice with him. Him, Bradley Beal, Adamas, Bertans. Uh, Rudy. Okay. Oh, I mean, one, I, I think he deserves somewhere better. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'll he give him one is. year, and if it if it doesn't, if it's not good. I want him. I want him to leave. Yeah, I mean, he the Wizards have all, had all this time to build a team around him. He's been hurt for the past year and a half. I mean, but how about before that? They've had a good team and they've made the playoffs a lot of times. Yeah, I know, but still. But they haven't done like enough. Yeah, Bradley Beal though is very underrated. He's yeah, good. thirty yeah. points a game, and he didn't make a all in the eighteen. That's that's weird. Mhm. That's false. Carson, uh, he's your, he's your most underrated player. Yeah. Next up, oh, wait, give give them your grade. Oh. Mm. Who was it again? Dallas Towns. I don't know. Uh, That's a huge signing for them. Stretch four. And was in the three point contest last year. Come on. Bogdan Bogdanovich. Where, where is he? Uh, tell him, Jess. Hawks. You at the Hawks now? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. I, kinda, I like that trade. He a- signed minus. four years, 70 mil. 70 mil. Yeah. Mm. I mean, that's that's kind of – I think they overpaid a little, to be honest. Yeah, but you have to in small markets, right? Yeah. Like, I mean, Atlanta is a small market still. But a that's, that's a huge signing. Yeah. He's going to do good with Trey. Yeah, who, did the, um, who did the Hawks pick up in the draft? Onyeka Okonwu. Oh yeah, that's right. Wait, what what position is he? I forgot what he was. Center. He's what? He's a center. Yeah, two centers now. 
I mean, he could move to power forward, though, because he's kind of small for a center. Isn't he, like, 6'9"? Yeah, but you got John Collins there. Is he a stretch Oh, yeah, five? John Collins. He's not a stretch. He's a – that was what was weird about that that that, that pick was they have Clint Capella, right? They have John Collins. They had <laughs> Brian Dedman. And now you pick up another center? <laughs> I know. That's <laughs> crazy. They're, they're acting like the Kings right now. I mean, they could probably just cut doing Dedman. He's trash. He really is. He came in to send the, and thought send he, the Kings back to the G League. Facts. <laughs> I give that an A. Yeah, I, I said A minor. A. Where does Actually, like you know what? You know what? I'll give that a B. They already got a bunch of bigs. Actually, I'll go A minus because I think they kind of overpaid a little. Okay. Uh, Avery Bradley went to the Heat. They're, they're they're building something down there in Miami. Okay. That one's an A minus yeah. for sure. Yeah, that's a uh, I'll go A minus. Give that an A plus. I mean, no, no. Dude. Whoa, 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 whoa. A B plus. That's okay. crazy. I I honestly did not expect the Heat to make the finals. Yeah. They yeah. weren't on my radar. They yeah. were not on my radar for the finals. How they is that gonna it? Is that gonna happen again? Brooklyn. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. And we'll be doing our our preseason predictions of like who wins MVP, who's the best team. We'll do that later on. Uh, next up, we got KCP. Went back to LA. He got Went a new play. Right. And he played really well in the finals. Looking back on yeah, it. Yeah, he did. He did. Yeah. I'll give that trade. Signing. Or not trade, signing. I mean, I'll give that a B plus. Give it a B minus. Mm. He brings shooting defense. B minus. All this player, but he's decent. Now, one of yeah. my players of all time, Demarcus Cousins. Oof. Well, that Houston play with the Russ and James Harden. F D minus. F F minus. D minus. I'm giving that an A plus. He's he's no. gonna he's gonna get injured from like. Yeah, getting off like a like a, a freaking bus or something. Oh, he has to injure himself on the treadmill. Yeah, that's an A F- plus. Right there. F minus. A plus. No. He's gonna, get, he's gonna get. He's gonna get immediately. That's injured. terrible for someone who's injury prone. They didn't sign him for much. Okay, okay. and think if he just plays half of what he did here in Sacramento and New Orleans. Not for worth $10 million. He will for like 10 games and then get hurt. Yeah. It was an experiment, though. No, don't experiment with him. I mean, him. he could He's do done. something else at $10 million. All right, what's your grade? F minus. Oh, my. D minus. You're Bro, terrible. it's terrible. That's a B plus. He's terrible. How he is sucks. he terrible? He literally sucks. His game has been going downhill since he left the Kings. Yeah, because he got hurt. Even except for when he was got the hurt. Huh? I said except for yeah. when he was on the Pelicans, he was heck good. Golden State. I mean, he was he, he was like he was decent. No, he, he was heck good on the Pelicans. Okay, he, he wasn't he wasn't Kings good on the Pelicans. How much do you think he averaged on the Golden State Warriors? Like four injuries, I think. How many? <laughs> How many what? How many points per game did he average for the Golden State Warriors? Uh, I'll say 14. Yes? 12. Okay, how many rebounds? Six. Eight. How many assists? I don't know. Five. 16.3 rebounds. I mean, points. 8.2 rebounds and 3.6 assists. You're telling me if he does that alongside James Harden, that's not worth $10 million. It would be if he didn't get injured, but he's going to get injured again. But this is like a lot of assumptions for like – He's not getting injured. Barely barely any time he played. This dude in his prime averaged 27.8 points per game. Okay, you, this and is the problem. Like, you're bringing up stats from his prime. Okay, How about after the injury? Prime? Golden State was in his prime. Right? I mean – No. But – no, but – 
If he doesn't get injured, then it's. But I mean, but but I mean, the ball literally goes to him if they can't shoot. Okay. Okay, he, fine. He F plus. He is Golden State Warriors here. He averaged. All right, fine. D plus. Dan Adebayo averaged sixteen last year. Ten uh, rebounds, five assists. Two rebounds less, maybe a point. Uh, he he's averaging more points, and he's averaging two less assists. He's going up, and Demarcus is going down. Okay, well, yeah. Talking, if he, Bam's not injury prone. If he gives you those stats, he did on the Golden State Warriors. You're telling me that's a bad deal? No. I, I just said it's worth it if he doesn't get injured. I don't think he's going to get injured. So that's why I went he's up gonna to get, plus. Mm, he's not getting injured. He's never been a player that's been injury prone except these past three years after he tore his Achilles. He, he ripped his quad by falling on a basketball. He went diving <laughs> after it. He's a bot. <laughs> but that can happen to anyone. No, it can't. No, it can't. <laughs> If you do it just right, that can happen to anyone. Dude, 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 dude. Pause. Y'all are capping. That's a – hey, I'm going to remember this moment when DeMarcus is averaging 15 a game for the Houston Rockets. Remember this. F plus. And when okay. he's out for the rest of the season. But, plus, so it, with the yes, injury. Yes, it's, he's going to average 15 for 10 games. Nope. He's going to full year healthy. Next up, we got Chris Dunn going to the Atlanta Hawks. Okay, the Hawks are signing. They I'll give that money this year. I give that. I'll give that trade a B. Solid B. B plus. Julian. What? It's a signing, not a trade. That's what I I keep meaning signing. <laughs> <laughs> um, I give it a B minus. I think. They would have been fine with Solid and bogey. Um, next up, we got Darren Fox. My boy, Darren D. Fox. Resigning. Resigning with the Kings. I'll give that, I'll, I'll give that an A+. Plus. I think it is, too. Actually, maybe A. Then maybe they I'll give it a much. straight A. Giving it an A+. Plus. They had to do it. They did it for the right price. He's the face of the franchise. Mm. I, I think it's a little bit too much. Yeah, it's a little too much money. So, okay, but if you offer him $10 million less, he's not staying, right? And who else okay. is $10 million? Then give him $5 million less. Then that's like Two and nothing. a half. That's like nothing up to, at that level. $100,000 less. 5000 less. Today, Three, take it or leave it. Um, next up, we got Marcus Ball. You know, you know where he, he went. Lakers. Lakers. That's a big. That's a big signing for dude, the Lakers. That's, a, that's an A plus trade. Uh, signing. Love you, Sauce. Um, this team got better than they were last. Oh, God. Year. Yeah, I mean, well, well, he is better than Dwight Howard for sure. Yeah. Wait, he where's AD? AD uh, hasn't signed yet. Okay, so he's like not decided yet. Yeah, but okay. more than likely he's going back. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I give it a yeah. A plus. Oh, B. A plus. I'll give it a B plus, just because it improves their bench. A minus. No, you can't change it now. Yeah, I can. Nope. I just Danilo did. Gallinari goes to Atlanta. They spend another Who? bag. Danilo Gallinari. Um, um, C plus. Uh, I'll go solid B. I'm going A minus. This dude is what will get them to really? the eighth seed. Really? He'll make them the eighth seed of the East. Mm-hmm. He's one of the best stretch boards in the league. He I didn't know that. Knocks down the three ball, can get you a bucket at any point. It's an A minus. Solid B. No, Solid B. Change it now. Another sad, heartening moment. Harry Giles left the Sacramento Kings. I went to Portland. Yeah. Fans are here. Who cares? 
<laughs> I'll right. take the cap space. The funniest thing was Anias uh, was at basketball one day, and she was talking to Tori. And like, yeah, I got Buddy Heels autograph. Uh, well, because he was she was working at Panda Express at the time, and then I'm like, yeah. uh, what did he look like? And he's like, yeah, he, she was he was tall, black, had like uh, a really long neck. I'm like, oh, that's Harry Giles. Harry Giles. <laughs> <laughs> Harry Giles autograph, and not Heels. I was laughing when I heard that. Um, next up, Montrez Harrell. Uh, Where? Mm, Lakers. Lakers. Where? I give I give that an A minus. Mm-hmm. A B plus. B plus. But it's closer to an A minus than it is to a B. Yeah. Dude, that's so unfair. <laughs> they lost to Valen Dwyer and got Marcus Saw and Montrezl Harrell. And they did get him at a good price too, if you think about it. Heck a chief. It's because he played so bad in the in the playoffs <laughs> that no one wanted him for that price. What, 19 mil? Yeah, that's pretty good for him. Yeah. Okay, Jess, doing some research out here. Um, Joe Harris goes to Brooklyn. I believe it was four years, 70 mil. It's a B. No, that, that might be an A minus. Because they mm. you're going to have to have a guy on the court that doesn't want to uh, have the ball in his hands the entire time. Have you seen Yeah, that? that's true. <laughs> <laughs> Where it's like if James Harden, Kyrie, and KD are on the same team, and it's just them isolating for 15 for the entire shot clock, and then just putting up a shot with two seconds left. <laughs> it'll go. It'll go in though. <laughs> it's so funny. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I give it a A minus. He plays a role. Knockdown shooter. Can't ask for from the Yeah, that's what they need. They need a corner sitter on that team. Yeah. We're hope. Because like, because like they got uh, KD. Katie, Kyrie, and James, they all they all attack, like, sometimes. Like, if you play up on James, I mean, I know he prefers a three, but he'll attack for sure. 100%. Uh, next one was Gordon Hayward. For the oh, he went to the – he went to Hornets. Yes. I like that. B plus. Um, they want to compete. B plus. Yeah. What was their starting lineup? I don't know. Um, um, wait, what did you say? I said, have you heard their starting lineup? Oh, no, I haven't. I thought you said, do you know their starting lineup? I was like, no, I don't know. So you got Devontae Lamello, Lamello Gordon Hayward, Miles Bridges, and oh. then you got uh, Cody Zeller, or I mean, you could try P.J. Washington at the five. Mm. Apparently, the Celtics... That's a good team. We're trying to trade, right, to get something out of Gordon Hayward. And uh, Danny Ainge asked for too much, who's the general manager of the Boston Celtics. He asked for too much, and they just said no, and Gordon Hayward just left. <laughs> uh, next up, that sucks. your favorite uh, big man. Who's that? Dwight Howard. Yeah. Dwight Howard. <laughs> he said, come here, teammates. I don't know where he went. Um, come on. Um, he went. Come on. Dude. Come on. I, I just, I know the team's not good. Philadelphia 76ers. Don't disrespect. Oh. Uh, well, oh, I mean, that oh, wait, no, they're decent. Wait, why'd, why'd they get him? It's just another big man off the bench because they got rid of Al Horford. Mm-hmm. Is Joel Lee? Oh, yeah, he was, he was so trash on the 76ers. It was, I was so glad the Sacramento Kings didn't sign Al Horford or trade for him. Yeah. I how, how mad I would have been. Uh, <sighs> next up, we got Serge Ibaka. Everybody thought he would go to Brooklyn. He decided not to go to Brooklyn, and instead, he went to the Clippers. And joined oh, Kawhi. I like that. B plus. I don't know about this one. I'll, I'll give it a, a B minus, just because of his age. 
I'll give it a B minus two, but I think it's because you know what? Do you know what they're missing? They're missing a point guard. The center and power forward isn't the problem. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They're missing a point guard that can facilitate. That's why they needed Rondo. As much as yeah. people hated Rondo a couple years back, dude, he's a top five playoff point guard that I can think of off the top of my head. He's wrong. Mm-hmm. He, yeah. He, he won a ring with the Celtics, right? Then he goes, he misses a couple years playoffs, goes to the Mavericks, the Kings. He goes to New Orleans, climbs up Damian Lillard and CJ McCollum. Eventually lose to the Golden State Warriors. But and then he went to ring with the Lakers. What else could you ask for? Mm-hmm. Not much. He's almost like a he's almost a perfect point guard. Maybe except if he could shoot a little bit better. I mean he has improved his shooting. Yeah, he has he his has mid range shot is nice. You know why they're saying uh he's been such a bad shooter in his career? Hmm. Um he has big hands. So he has a hard time shooting it, which is a reason why he's such a good defender. Um, Kawhi. Then, why doesn't Kawhi have a hard time shooting the ball? Because Kawhi is just a different breed. He's just different. Next up, Brandon Ingram, who got the smallest oh. contract out of all of the people from the – wait. Out of the BAM, JT, Aaron Fox, BAM, and the bio group. He got the smallest contract. The smallest? Yeah. Um, how much? Uh, it was 159 instead of 163. I mean, that's still pretty good. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's pretty good. A minus for sure. E- um, B plus. B plus. Next up, Derek Jones Jr. Oh. Portland. I like that. B plus or yeah. A minus. Um, I'll go B plus. I'll go B minus. Uh, as much as he's pretty good, he's not that good. Like he can I mean, yeah. But we don't hear anything about his jumper. He's he's young though, too. He's like probably twenty eight, twenty nine. Yeah. Um, but hey, that that Blazers. He's, wait, he's that old? Yeah, he's not that young. Wait a minute. Oh, he's twenty three. Yeah, Bruh. He looks hella old. Yeah, I was like, what? What are you talking about? He was he was just mm-hmm. drafted like, a couple years ago. Wow, he looks hella old. Damn. My bruh. He's only been in the league five years. No, not even that. Like not even that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Damn, he looks hella old. Um, solid pickup. Yeah. Not much to say about Frank Kaminsky. Chris Sackton. Frank Kaminsky is in Sacramento. Um, what do you guys I don't think? I don't know who he is. He won a uh, I, uh, um Wisconsin Badgers team that played Duke in the uh, I mean no. he's gonna help our bench a lot. <laughs> help <laughs> the bench. Help the bench. Ah, solid pickup. One year Get deal. Get rid of the whole team. Hey, I mean our whole team is on a one year deal. Huh? Practically. As that our whole bench is practically on one year deals. What? That's not a bad. That's pretty good. Yeah. I like that. Um, Paul Millsap re signs with Denver. Uh, just another veteran guy out there. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. C. Plus. I'd give the same. D minus. Yeah, just want to be different. Something special. <laughs> um, you say. Marcus Morris, resign. Say B or D. B. Minus. Where? Oh, where was he? Marcus Morris goes back to the Clippers. Marquise Morris goes back to the Lakers. Okay. Mm. 
Hmm. I give them both C's. Mm-hmm. They don't excite me enough. Yeah. To really talk about them that long. Uh, yeah. Go to the Hawks. Now I love this signing right here. A minus right away. Wait, who? Who to the Hawks? Rondo. Oh. Oh yeah. A minus. Except for Rondo, heater like I'm Rondo. Name the song. No. Um. I use a Rondo heater like a Rondo. I upgrade your baby mama to a condo. I know I've heard that song. That feels in the city, be made immediately to confiscate the money. Slacker. I've heard of it. Um, Black Beatles. It's the mannequin yeah. track. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, um, great pickup. Yeah. I feel like you could teach Trey a lot of stuff. I give mm-hmm. it a minus. If they make the playoffs, it's an A+. Plus. If they yeah, make the how playoffs, is it, is it because of How much did they him? sign him for? It wasn't that much. Wait, why? Why would he want to leave? Um, more money. Why does anybody leave? Maybe he doesn't uh, like the city. Fifteen mil, so he makes seven point five a year. That's a great pickup. Mm-hmm. Well, I I would want to stay with LeBron and get as much rings as I could. I just don't think Rondo's ever cared about the rings as much as he's cared about making money, to be honest. Mm-hmm. Uh, next up, Jason Tatum, Tristan Thompson, both go back to the Celtics. A. Um, Jason Tatum, an A. Tatum, Tristan a. Thompson. Tristan Thompson. A C e. for cheating. <laughs> what a savage. <laughs> Uh, I mean, Tristan. Tristan's decent. He's not. You yeah, know. he's all right. He's all right. He's not I, like a. They finally get their big man that they've needed. Who's going to crash the board? Because really, you don't need a guy that can shoot the ball that well. You just need a guy that can go out there and give you effort. And that's what Tristan Thompson does. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Next up, Fred Van Fleet. Oh, uh, back to the Raptors. A plus. He is the highest paid undrafted player ever. A. Because he's raw. He's a nice shooting. I give it a B. A plus. Minimum. A plus. I'm just kidding. No, I give it. I give that a B plus. Uh, yeah, I agree. C minus. Actually, yeah, you're right, Josh. Yeah. Um, C minus. You want to show you, Captain? Is King, how much did he get paid, though? Uh, he averaged 17.6 points, six assists. Fred Van Fleet. You guys can keep talking when I'm not talking. But how much did he get paid? I'm looking that up. How much did you get paid, Josh? Um, four year, eighty five mil. Three dollars and ten dimes. Oh, nice. So four dollars. You could buy the Kings See? with that much money. Oh, cause your dad owns it, Jesh. <laughs> Racism at its finest. Um. Next up, my boy has Jesh's boy Hassan Whiteside to the Sacramento Kings. Oh. Um. B plus. I give it an A. That's a good trade. That's a good trade. Signing. Huh? Signing, not a trade. Tr- yeah, signing. <laughs> uh, B plus. Good stuff, uh, Jeff. Last one, we got Christian Wood, who has that wood. Um, oh, pause. man. Pause. I didn't say anything. Um, he goes to the <laughs> Rockets. And this is the best – I think this might be the best signing out of all of them. Today. Really? Dude, he in Detroit, he averaged like 18 to 20 points. Let me look it up. And he falled out over there. And they got him for yeah. 
They're going to need someone for when James is gone. Uh, James is gonna... Yeah. And when DeMarcus gets injured. Yeah. Stop. Y'all he's going to trip over – He's gonna trip over one of the lo- uh, one of the cracks on the basketball court. <laughs> my boy. Um, that is, oh, last thing. AD Giannis still have yet to sign the supermax. And um, do you think Giannis should sign it? Mm. Nah, I mean, nah. I mean, it, it, you get his dip if the Bucks are not gonna build a team around him. Um, They're selling right now. Yeah. I'd sign a one and one, so one year deal. Yeah, yeah, I'd sign a one year deal with Giannis, but I would not. I would not do like the super max of like five years, like like uh, some other players do. Because he, I'd pull out the NFL franchise tag. Right. That's wrong. Um. So that is the end of this episode. What you guys think? How do you guys think it went? Um, we didn't order them best to worst, so that would have been tough. Um, I thought. Yeah, that would have been. Tough. How many were there? I think there's thirty six. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, there's thirty five. Wait, you forgot my boy Willie Cauley Stein. Come on. Bruh, I didn't. I didn't think we needed to talk about him. Um, don't get me mad Just right now. Uh, he's the only dude I've ever seen break his thumb blocking a basketball mm. off the backboard, and it was called a goaltend. Hey, he did have one of the cleanest dunks of all time, though. Mason Plumlee, come on, Carson. What do you got? What do you think of him? Um, what do you got? The Pistons. He well, he definitely, he definitely won that deal. Twenty-five mil. Yeah, Mason Plumley. Um, that was the end of another great episode. Um, if you guys Next want episode. a virtual episode better, let me know because we can do more of these, or we can do more in person. I just felt that this week it'd be easier to do it online, you know, with Jess grinding uh, on that dude. Um, all right, so <laughs> what? Hey, what are you talking about? I got about? socks on. <laughs> I got socks on. Uh, oh, thank you. Damn, I guess how long that episode was? An hour. Forty-five. Uh, fifty minutes. Forty-two. Forty-two. Not bad. Carson, what were you, what were you just talking about?